We're just chatting, you know, in my room. We're just chilling. Just two friends. Who needs clean hair, you know? Who needs it? Not me. Not me. Hello, everyone. <laughs> I've forgotten how to start chatty videos. <sighs> I feel like I'm just so used to putting on the camera and filming my makeup, because I've been doing so many of those, that I just don't know how to speak to you anymore. So, hello. My name is Libby. This is my channel. This is my video. Um, hope you like it. I wanted to show you some like autumny, transitional, recent finds from mainly, in fact, yeah, mainly apart from one, I think, charity shops and like pre owned places like TK Maxx and stuff or like gifts or things that like you find. <laughs> that sounds really weird, like I've just stolen these things. I haven't, but I have two siblings and I have lots of friends that just throw out clothes or, you know, when like someone you know has a clear out and then they're like, oh, do you want to look through this stuff? That's where I've got a couple of these things as well. So there's no particular order and I haven't bought all of these things all in one go, even though if I did, they're all from a charity shop pretty much apart from one. So I wouldn't have spent much money anyway. Um, but I do try not to spend my money on clothes because I don't need any clothes ever again in my life because <laughs> I always have too many and I always hoard them and hang on to them like like they're my children so I don't ever need to buy new clothes unless something that I own breaks and I need to replace it or if there's some kind of essential that I don't have like the only thing that I probably need to buy is a waterproof with a hood because I don't have any waterproofs with hoods and I haven't bought any in this haul video so I still haven't done very well but yeah these are a few things that I have bought or been given over the past few months really but they are all like thicker things or layering pieces so I'm counting them as early autumn clothing that will do in like the in-between layery months. So, oh, they're all in a massive pile, which I probably should have sorted through before I started this video, but oh well. First thing, which you've already seen because, well, if you watch all my videos, you've already seen it, because I put this in one of my outfit videos the other day. And I think I filmed it with more outfit videos that will be coming soon. But it's this fleecy cream fleece. <laughs> yeah, it's this like thick fleece. Um, it's not called a zip, it zips all the way down and it's got toggles at the bottom. I really can't show you it because it's massive, it's size large. Um, there you go, that's kind of the gist of it. But it's got like one of those mock neck, um, like sporty necklines and it's just kind of like big and boxy. Obviously it's because it's a size large so it's going to be really big on me. Um, it's from the brand Active, Pure and Natural. But yeah, I got this from a charity shop. I think it was like four or five pounds maybe. I love it. I literally love it. I looked at it on the hanger and, and I was like, I want it. And then I felt it and I picked it straight up to buy it because it's like, it's like triple layered. Like it's got um, more of a nylon on the inside. Um, maybe it's polyester actually, I'm not sure. And it's like thick on the inside so it's it's almost like quilted but it's not so I thought it would just be really really nice to wear on its own um, because I feel like fleeces can usually be quite like a layering piece and you usually have to cover them up with a big a bigger coat especially in the winter so I thought this would be really nice just to wear on its own when it's not raining um, because everyone hates a fleece in the rain but yeah I've got that and I've been living in that in the past ever since I bought it a few weeks ago sticking with jacket I got this hoodie and this is actually, I think it was my sister's. She was throwing it away. 
so I snapped it up but obviously that's similar to buying it from a charity shop in the way of like where you could find these things I always I'm always in two minds about like doing charity shop haul videos because you can't like I can't give you a link to buy the same thing but I feel like it gives you inspiration on what to buy anyway um, even though all these things are really random but I thought someone would be interested so yeah I bought I didn't buy I was given this hoodie it's basically a plain white hoodie it's just plain white and I think it's men's I'm not sure though no I don't think it is it's from weekday um, originally size large and it's just really big and cozy you know everyone needs a good hoodie and fun fact I don't have any black hoodies and I really want some. I only have white and grey because I just don't really wear hoodies very often so I'm trying to grow my collection so that maybe I will wear them a little bit more often but yeah I don't know. I've been loving this one anyway. I really like crisp white things just to wear together like an all white outfit. I think it's really really nice especially for this time of year because it's like it still looks nice with your like end of summer tan but you can layer it really nicely and it just like pops out because it's a bit darker and colder. I don't know. I just really like it for this time of year. I think it like pops out against all the black that everyone wears. But yeah, white hoodie, very plain, but everyone needs it. And then I also bought the same time, I think the same time that I bought that beige fleece, bought this amazing thing, quarter zip, fleecy, I think it's actually more of like a towel material, feeler navy like three quarter zip no quarter zip pullover love it absolutely love it it's got like nice baby blue trim it's got the big feeler um zip and it has it on the front in the same like embroidery color just really nice this is a large as well um i think this was like i don't know two three pounds maybe really love it i can't believe i found this i literally picked it up straight away and i was like Bleh you're obviously coming home with me. Absolutely love it. It's really thin, um, which is kind of the only thing that's slightly annoying because it doesn't have like elasticated hemlines. So it just kind of hangs and drapes. Like it, you can tell that it's really thin, but that's okay. I feel like it would be really nice just with like some leggings or even biker shorts or something if it's a bit warmer or like mum jeans even maybe. I just think it would look really nice. So I got that. I'm always kind of like nervous to buy navy or like dark blue or blue in general just because I feel like they don't, blue doesn't really go with anything. And people keep telling me that blue goes with black but it doesn't. I can't wear blue and black together. Just, I don't know, I just can't. Just can't. I don't know why. I probably should try to. I feel like blue goes with like mild grey, you know, like a sporty vibe but I don't know. I need to try and find a way to wear navy blue a bit more. Step out of my comfort zone with it. But yeah, I got that guy. And then the other thing that I got from that charity shop, I don't know where I was. I feel like I was in like Henley and Arden or something. I'm not sure. I don't remember where I was, but it was some random charity shop. It wasn't like a massive big one or anything. It was probably just like, I don't know. I don't know. It was just like a random chain. Um, charity shop so I can't really help you there but the last thing I got was this like bluey grey um flannel shirt this is XL it's from Ar Armando really like it it's like one of those really nice like thick but thin fabrics <laughs> I don't know how to explain it it says soft touch on the thing so if that means anything to you um, but it just like hangs really nicely, you know, it's like quite heavy and it feels really nice but it's still like thin, you know, it's not like a brushed cotton flannel feel, it's like a nice shirt feel and it's really nice and it's got like navy blue um, plaid stripes on it but it's like a grey, yeah, I'd say it's a grey, like a smooth grey colour, really really nice, XL, love it, can't go wrong and I've been wanting a grey like cool toned flannel because I have a lot of warm tone ones um as you could probably tell i do have a lot of like beige and creamy ones so i wanted a blue one to go with my like sporty outfits love that that was probably like two pounds and then the one thing that i bought from a normal shop normal shop um i got this from primark i 
don't usually go in Primark anymore because I become quite um, frustrated and like manic in there <laughs> because I end up just forgetting that I shouldn't shop in there and then I just end up picking up loads of things and buying them and spending a lot of money and then I never really wear the stuff and or I have to like sew it together to make it fit me and I wear it like once because it's like a trendy piece and I just don't really like doing that so I don't let myself go in there and I don't let myself go into like regular shops like H&M and all that because I don't know I just I don't love shopping in those kinds of shops so I try not to go in there but my friend asked me to go in there with her so I was like yeah fine but I'm not gonna buy anything um, and I ended up coming over with this but I was looking for like big vintage t-shirts with more um, like I don't know how to explain it less grungy prints because I only have um, vintage t -sh like printed t-shirts like this with like Harley Davidson stuff on it or like um, like rocker band tees if that makes any sense so I wanted one that would go with like more of a sporty like trainery vibe for summer so I bought this a few months ago in the hopes that I would wear that but obviously because it's Primark it's very cheap it was probably like eight pounds or twelve pounds or something and um, it has two pack on it I should probably show you <laughs> the actual thing instead of rambling about it it's just a black t-shirt um i bought it in a large um and it says like 14 to 16 on it it is women's um so it's very big but i wanted it to be like almost a dress kind of vibe like i wanted to wear it with like biker shorts but you couldn't really see the biker shorts underneath you know but yeah because it's primark it is very cheap and it doesn't really sit like a vintage t-shirt should sit like they've obviously lengthened the sleeves and like made it more boxy um than it should be so i don't know i don't love it but i will keep it because i i like the print um and i thought it was quite cool for primark but yeah i kind of feel like i want to wash it like a hundred times because i don't like how jet black it is like i just kind of want it to look like a washed vintage t-shirt but i don't want to try and bleach it because it will just go orange and i'll ruin it but yeah I do like that um, and I'm happy that it's like black and blue even though I just said I don't like black and blue. I like how like um, bright the blue is and it's kind of like purpley as well so I do like it. I do like it but you know it's just Primark. <sighs> so the next things that I bought were from a different charity shop. I think I bought this from like an actual vintage, like a hand picked vintage shop um, in I think it was Henley and Arden again, or Noel maybe, I'm not, I don't remember. But it is this polo, Fred Perry. I have been looking for one of these polos for the longest time. I was gonna buy a brand new one, but as you know, they're like 55 pounds plus. So I held off from buying them. I was gonna buy a new one, but I then stumbled upon this shop that just had like rows and rows and rows of them in like all the different colours and they had like the t-shirt dresses and loads of t-shirts and everything so and they had the jackets like the Harrington style jackets so yes I found this one I wanted it in the black with the white trim I was gonna get black with the yellow trim but um I don't know I feel like black and white would go nicer with stuff I do want to cut it and crop it, but then I'm also like, no, what if I want to tuck it into something? I don't know, I don't know, but I might cut it and crop it, I'm not sure. I bought it in a size 8, which is really, really small on me, like it's, I want it to be like, I always said if I was going to buy one of these, I want it to be like double XL, like massive dress like drowning me or I want it to be like super tiny like a little baby tee and that's why I got with this one there was also a size large in the same colours and I was like mm, should I buy that one instead because they were the same price they were £19 okay I think they were actually 18 I'm not sure but they were less than 20 so that's crazy for brand new ones that are exactly the same being over £50 <laughs> And I got this for under 20, so beautiful. Yeah, I bought it in a baby one. I might go back and get the bigger size, but I thought it wouldn't be big enough to like 
how I wanted it to be because I did want it to just be like a dress. But yeah, um, I'm really happy with this. I love it. It's like one of my favourite things that I have. So I've just wanted one for so long. So I'm really happy with that. And the other piece that I just live in are these. I've still got the belt in there because I wore them and I didn't take the belt off. Is that weird? Does anyone else do that? When you know you're going to wear the belt with it again, why would you take the belt off? I don't know. Anyway, I digress. It's these cargoes. You've definitely seen me wear these before if you follow me on Instagram or if you have seen any of my outfit videos. I'm pretty sure if this was in my latest outfit video. They're these cargoes. They're kind of like a beigey, like khaki green colour. And I'm like really washed out, really nice. They're size like double XL or something. They're 34 29 in men's. So I don't know what that is. 34? That's probably like a medium or a large maybe. Large. I don't know. They're from Blue Harbour um, and I got these just like at my local charity shop and I love them. I love them so much because they fit me around my waist, like around my hips, just low rise with no belt and they look perfect and they're the perfect length as well. Like they're not too long when I sit them down on my hips so I can wear them low rise or I can cinch them up, put a belt on them like this belt, which I actually also got from Primark with that t-shirt. But I've wanted one of these belts for ages, so I'm glad that I found one of those in there. Yeah, I can cinch it up on my waist, and the length just sits, like, just scraping the floor, like, maybe just above my heel. So it's perfect to wear with, like, big boots or chunky trainers, because it would sit over the top of those anyway. And it's just perfect. I love these. They're, like, my favourite trousers ever. Ever, ever and I'm never gonna get rid of them. <laughs> They're so amazing. I love them so much. I'm so happy that I found these in, in a charity shop as well. Because this was around the time, like a couple of months ago, when everyone was buying the like track tech pants, track pants, tech pants, from Urban Outfitters and they were like sold out everywhere. Obviously they're not the same as those because they don't have the toggle over the top and like they're not massive like parachute pants, but these are just as nice and you know what? They're pre-owned for them from a charity shop and they were like £1.50. So I'm really, really happy with them. Go to charity shops to buy cargoes in the men's section because they're so much nicer and they're like one of a kind because they're from a charity shop. Uh, and then from TK Maxx actually, I bought this crop top which has little daisies on it. It's really cute. Um, and it has like long straps that you can tie around your waist. I think I wore this in my last outfit video so you can go and see how it looks on in that video because it's kind of hard to show you but it's a halter neck. It's a really like tiny little top really for summer um, or layering but I really liked it and I thought I don't have very many like just summery like festival-y tops so I wanted this and I thought it was perfect. Um, it was really cheap, it's from TK Maxx, it was probably like £4 or something. And it's originally from Bershka, so I liked that. Just a little casual piece to buy, I thought I'd just pick it up, it looks really cute. I just realised I also have some juicy couture biker shorts, which I bought when I bought these from TK Maxx, and they were like £8. <laughs> because I always wanted the juicy tracksuit, but it, they're like £50 a piece, so I'm holding off from buying that plus I feel like it's not really my autumn winter vibe anymore so I'm kind of glad that I didn't buy those. But yes I bought some juicy biker shorts with this in TK Maxx and I also put that in my cycling shorts lookbook um, so you can see those shorts in that video but just know that I bought those with that. And then I also wanted to show you just like random things that I found in my house when I moved. <laughs> because I moved house recently, if you didn't know. If you've been watching me for a while, then you'll, you'll be aware that this is not the same background and, and everything, so yeah. I made like a whole big moving vlog, so you can watch that if you want to see the emotions. So I moved house, so I had to pack up every single thing that I owned. I came across some clothing things that I've just kind of like put into storage or put for like charity and then tidied them away and just forgot about them. So first of all, I found these Solomon trousers, like ski trousers, and they're amazing. I love them. They're so cool. They're like 
big and wide leg and they come down like really really low obviously they have like skiing attributes in them so they have like this extra layer of fabric on the inside to like cover your ski boots and they're icy white again so i can wear them with that white hoodie and it will be like really cool with icy outfit and they're just beautiful i love them and they're so nice and they're obviously skiing trousers so they're really thick so they will be perfect when it's super cold outside and i feel like they'll still pass as like really cool like sporty cargoes even because they have loads of pockets down the sides and they have salmon down the sides so they just look really cool i don't know i really love them and they fit me perfectly like they literally fit me so well i put them on and i was like they're not gonna fit me like they've been in my drawer for like six years literally probably more than six years and they fit me so well and I remember thinking that my auntie gave these to me when I wanted to start skiing. And I obviously put them away in case I ever wanted to start see skiing again. So thanks, auntie. Because they fit me really well now and I'm going to wear them all winter long because they're so cool. Uh, I also found... These are a really long story, but... <laughs> I also found this skirt, which is now a mini skirt. But it didn't used to be this length um obviously like this is very short like it's it's twice the length of my head almost not even it's obviously very short and it's very short on the back too extremely short so these were originally top shop which shows how old they are because i have not ordered anything from top shop online since they shut down like a few years ago so i bought these a while ago and they were like the big wide leg um, jeans that everyone bought and I cut them into like a long skirt in fact I think I tried to cut them into shorts maybe at some point because I never wore them as trousers because they were like massive jeans and I just never wore them so I cut them into a skirt and then I cut them into a mini skirt when low rise came back like a year ish ago now it's in its like third evolution of outfit and it's a mini, like, mini, mini skirt. So it fits me, like, just kind of mid-rise. So I don't need to wear a belt with it now because I used to wear it with a belt. Obviously, that's not going to fit my waist. But I can obviously also scoop it up slightly and put a belt on it. But yeah, this was free <laughs> because I found it in my wardrobe um, as, like, something to edit because I didn't want to throw it away because I hate throwing denim away because it's, like such nice fabric and I know that I can do something with it always so that's what I did I cut it into a skirt um and I love it and it's really cute and it's really trendy because it's low rise final final thing that I have to show you is this bag that I found in the depths of my like bag drawer <laughs> like bags that I never wear that I might need one day because I have been really enjoying like the old like western grungy summer desert style i don't really know what to call it and every time i try and go on pinterest to get inspiration for outfits in that style i never know what to type in because it's just like loads of different things put together but i really enjoy that style so when i found this bag in my drawer of bags i was very happy because it's like a perfect style basically it's like one of those like bucket bags ish it's a shoulder bag it's got this long like woven strap matching strap down the front going into like a tassel toggle it's black suede which i wouldn't buy new i don't buy leather or like new things that are leather if i can help it i'd rather buy pre-owned uh but it's black suede and it just opens with like a little clasp and it's just kind of like a little saddle bag and it's really cute and i really like it um and it's really just like slouchy and nice and i thought it would go very well with that kind of style so i'm very happy with that and i've been wearing it the past couple of weeks and i think it's really cute it's nice because it just kind of fits what you want to fit in there so it will just kind of fit your phone your keys your purse and then a couple of other little bits maybe a book so it's nice i like it and that is everything that i wanted to show you it's only like a little haul maybe littleish it's like over a over like a few months so yeah not too crazy i don't really buy clothes for myself anymore i just kind of save my money where i can um 
yeah, I haven't been buying too many clothes, but I wanted to show you those things because I haven't done a little haul in a while. Yeah. Hopefully you're enjoying my videos and hopefully you'll see some of these things in upcoming outfit videos because I have a couple coming up and I wear these things quite often because they're kind of like looped into my staple pieces at the moment. So I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope my hair wasn't too dirty as a distraction. I love you guys very much. I really hope you're enjoying my new like regular schedule. I'm really loving uploading regularly again. I think it's really fun and I've been like making little schedules for myself and I'm really excited for October videos. So I hope you are too. Give me some suggestions as well actually because I don't have all of my videos planned out yet and I want to make some Halloween looks. So let me know what you want from me and I will film it for you. I love you guys. I'm going to go now. Um, go to a charity shop if you want to buy new clothes because it's so much fun in there and you find some really cool stuff like honestly sometimes if you go in there they have some gems over at charity shops instead of regular shops that was my little activist moment okay I'm gonna go now love you guys